Hey, 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 what the heck? Sorry, guys. Yes, as you can definitely tell, Sam Numzani is wearing a hat. Not by choice, guys, but then because of, as I was going to the barber, my barber, my uh, is barber, I read some comments and there was someone who saying, oh, a certain man must be tough. Yeah, even Sam Numzani can't do it. So I definitely had to rush and do this lesson. Whether I have electricity or not. Where I'm located right now, there is no electricity. But then luckily our new setup is here. So class of 2025, make sure that you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Why? Because of I lost my haircut appointment just to make sure that you pass your class so make sure that you do what i just said okay guys so what is rural and urban settlement the first term that you actually have to look at it is settlement why settlement because of you and i are the real settlers we are the occupants of this current land we are settling okay maybe animals can be doing the settling but then really settlers it is us all right guys so we go back in history right whereby we had a huge relationship with our soil that's only the relationship we believed in we believe from soil to mud from soil to buttering creating a relationship that is what we believe in right and then human beings definitely got smarter fire was invested was invented industrial revolution started to begin right so now human beings were no longer needing to definitely eat from the soil right they were now able to have more machines that maybe okay let me make an example mr stole definitely had his friend who had chickens mr stole has definitely his subsistence farm right and then he usually had his surplus after feeding his family he would exchange with mr kumet with his chickens and stuff like that but then mr kumet was definitely informed that hey my brother there is no longer need for you to be eating from your definite soil. You can definitely do the most greatest thing. Sell your chickens, buy a machine. Then that machine, you will act as a manufacturer, right? You will act as a secondary sector, right? Obviously, when Mr. Forgot their name, when that guy definitely has his own farm where there's corn, you can definitely turn that corn to maize, create impopo, right? And then Mr. Stolle was like, okay, Mr. Kumete was like, okay, I'm no longer doing this uh, chicken feeding and stuff like that. I'll just buy a machine. So that is how things changed. There were people that no longer wanted to use the, the, the old ways of life, like farming. They now believe that they could actually use the people that are usually farming, maybe process their food so that some other people can sell it right so that's how human beings started to change guys so why am i telling you this story because of it's very important in everything that we are going to be learning here right hopefully you definitely understood what i'm saying okay guys so the first thing that we have to understand is it is the difference between a rural and an urban settlement what is the difference to understand the difference we just have to look at three characteristics the size the population and also the function the function being the economic activities and even just services such as school high high, high schools and stuff like that right okay guys so let's write down our, our definition because of you definitely can't wait to see if i can actually use this board okay guys so make sure that you like this video subscribe to my channel why because of close-up education will never stop giving the best education okay guys so our first definition has to be rural settlement we said we differentiate them using three terms size population and definitely the function so what is a rural settlement a rural settlement let me give a definition it is a small settlement with a small population that focuses on primary activities meaning it is unifunctional you definitely heard what i said yes let's write down so this is definitely our rural we said small with a small population which focuses on primary activities meaning they are unifunctional 
Okay, guys, definitely, as we can definitely tell everything, this is the definition for rural settlement. Now let's move to a definition of an urban settlement. What do we say? We say it is a large settlement. Definitely, we know geography. If you know definitely one, you will definitely know the other. It is a large settlement with a large population which focuses or which has a variety of economic activities, meaning it is multi functional yes guys let's write it down we said a large settlement with a large population and it has a variety of economic activities meaning it is multifunctional Yes, guys, as we can definitely tell, I think we need a marker so that we can definitely understand what I said when I speak about size and also when I spoke about population and lastly when I spoke about function. Yes, guys, where's this mark? Yes, guys, so what did we say? We said we differentiate these two settlements using size, population and also the function. So say, first we said the size small settlement that is a rural area that is a rural settlement why some way say seven and people that are living in a rural settlement they have farms they have a lot of land so why would you say that is a small settlement we are saying that is a small settlement because of we are only taking a talking about the shelter in which that person it is settling in we are talking about you and i as i've said right but then when we move to a, an urban settlement the shelter, they, are, they can be apartments, right? Meaning they are large settlement. Here is just your mukuku or just your heart, right? Usually, they can be a double story in a rural area, but then it is not usually what we, we can find. So we said here, there's a large settlement for urban area, right? Large settlement. And definitely small population. That one we can never debate. Me and you, we can never debate. And we'll understand it why when we move into urban to... When we move into rural to urban settlement, right? When we are moving about the push and the pull uh, situations. But then for now, we are still looking at this. Okay, guys. Then small population. We know that there is a small population in the rural area. People want to find themselves in the cities. They want to find jobs and stuff like that. And here there's a large population because of people are looking for jobs. And also there are apartments, right? In one area, there could be 100 people living in one apartment, right? That definitely speaks about what? Our population. So this is the population. This is the size of the settlement. Population. Definitely, this is the size of the settlement, right? When we are talking about size and population, how to differentiate the two. Then we are moving now to the functions, which is the primary activities, meaning it is unifunctional, right? Unifunctional with primary activities. Very important, guys, right? Primary activities such as farming, agriculture, right? And it could be fishing, it could be forestry where i'm currently located because of there's no electricity forestry is going number one people are going there cutting some trees so they could sell for people that are feeling the cold and stuff like that i did buy some things to to sort our myself out you know i'm saying Numsa. i can never die on this card on this cold i know cold fronts i've learned about these things okay guys then let's continue we said unifunctional, we know our primary activities, those mining and stuff like that, guys, we know it. Okay, then we are moving to a variety of economic activities, meaning it is multifunctional. It definitely makes sense on its own. This is primary sector, right? And then on the urban sect, on the urban settlement, we now have your secondary sector. We have your secondary sector, your tertiary sector, and your quaternary sector. Yes, guys. Let me remind you, but then I did release 
a lesson of economic geography about those sectors. But then let me try to remind you, obviously our secondary sector, the manufacturer, as we definitely spoke about Mr. Kumete, right? Now we are moving into a nice, nice life, nice way of living. Okay, then uh, when we are moving to the tertiary sector, we are now speaking about education, we are speaking about malls, uh, transport, right, the services. Now we are speaking when we are on tertiary, transport. And, obvious, transport is very much limited. The Ubers in the rural is very much limited, right? So uh, tertiary sector is very much dominating in an urban in an urban settlement. Then lastly, the quaternary, those doctors, we definitely have uh, clinics, we have hospitals to host those doctors, the IT specialists, there's definitely a lot of internet connection, right? So lawyers, right? They, they are called and stuff like that in such areas. Yes, guys, as we can definitely tell, this is the function this is the population, this is the size. This is how you differentiate the two settlement. We are definitely done about that. Now let's move into the hierarchy of settlement. Why I had to actually tell you the story where we actually come from, obvious. Okay.